What's up guys, Guggen Barbecue here, and today we're gonna to be making a smoked fish dip. So a few months ago, I was down at the Gulf and I was doing some surf fishing, and I was lucky enough to catch a few pompano. And if you've never had pompano before, it's probably one of the best tasting fish that you can catch at the beach down in Florida or Alabama or Mississippi. But let's go ahead and get this cook kicked off. So today we've got yellow mustard and hot sauce, which I've mixed together 50-50. We're gonna brush that over the fish, and then we've got some pepper here and some Jubilee seafood seasoning. I picked that up while I was at the beach as well. So let's go ahead and get this honey mustard and hot sauce mix on our fish. All right, so that's looking good. Let's go ahead and get some pepper on here. And we'll do a little bit of this Jubilee seafood seasoning. So we're gonna hot smoke these on my offset smoker. So let's get them on the pit. All right, so we've got our pit up to temperature right now. You can see I've got some other meat on here, some ribs. I'm gonna set up a system where I put like a wire rack over this metal pan here so none of the fish oil gets into my smoker. If you've ever smoked fish, you know, it's really hard to get that smell out of there. Man, let's get these on. All right, so that should catch all the oil that comes out during the cook process. I expect this fish to smoke for about 45 minutes to an hour until it gets to an internal temperature, you know, well above 145. The fish is gonna be a little bit drier and it's gonna be a little bit more flaky, but when we add in our other ingredients like mayo and sour cream, it's all gonna mix together really well. It's going to be plenty moist. And I wanted to get a little bit extra smoke flavor by taking it up to a little bit higher of a temperature. All right, so we've got our smoked pompano here. It's looking really good. It's got a nice color to it. And what we wanna do now is get the meat off of the skin. So if we did everything correctly, it should just kind of flake up and we can put it in our bowl here and then add our other ingredients. So let's get started on this little piece here. We've got our fish all shredded up really nicely. It smells incredible. We're gonna go ahead and get all of our other ingredients into this fish dip. We've got about two cups of our pompano. Then we're gonna use four tablespoons of sour cream, two tablespoons of mayo, Hot sauce, put as much or as little as you like. You're just gonna have to taste this as you go. Worcestershire, I put about three or four drops in there, and then a little bit more of your seasoning. I've already mixed all of these ingredients up in a bowl, and we're gonna add them in with the fish. And that looks good, and it smells unbelievable. So we're gonna serve this up with some saltine crackers and maybe some lemon wedges and it should be a really nice, tasty appetizer. But I'm gonna put a cover on this. We're gonna let it chill for a couple hours in the refrigerator, let all the seasonings and all those flavors get mixed in together, and then we'll try it out. Man, so let me tell you, this fish dip came out incredible. It had a really, really good smoky flavor, and then all the other ingredients that we added, man, did it really come together. So this will work on any type of white flaky fish, and you don't have to use all the same ingredients that I used, you can use whatever you like, but I appreciate everybody watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.